Hello! In this video tutorial, we are going to follow through the blog tutorial of how to scrape e-commerce websites the classical way. If there are any difficulties, we suggest reading through the blog tutorial that will be linked down below. To shortly describe the classical way is that web scraping is done by mapping the site using the point-and-click system to set parameters for the scraper to follow and extract the target data. This might confuse some, so let's begin with a tutorial. Open up the developer's tool and go to the web scraper log. First, we create a new sitemap, decide upon the sitemap's name, and copy-paste the website URL, which you would like to use as the starting point for the scraper. Then click Save Sitemap. Now we begin to add selectors. First, we need the scraper to visit the women's and men's categories. Let's call the selector Gender. Usually, all it would take is to click on the logs of the website and save them as selectors. However, the web page we have chosen is a bit harder to retrieve only the two categories. Therefore, we are going to derive necessary data from the Inspect tool. And the multiple log has to be ticked since various entries are needed. Once that's done, click on Save Selector. Now, diving deeper, we click on the previously created gender link selector and on the website go to the women's section. Let's create a child selector. That will be another link selector that will visit each of the subcategories. We are going to call it category URL. Let's click on the previously created selector and visit the first category on the website. We have gotten to the product list page and this is where we are going to create our pagination selector. In this case, we are going to use the inspect log again, since whenever we try to designate a link selector on this page by clicking the buttons, it selects the previous page also, which ruins the work of pagination. Now that we have done this, a crucial part is to remember to designate two parent selectors, the category URL selector and the pagination selector itself. Now, on the same product list page and under the category URL selector, we create the product URL selector. Here also, it is important that we again designate two parent selectors, which are the category URL and the pagination selectors. The third and final selector under the category URL will be the category text selector, simply to indicate from which category the product comes from. For this also, we designate the same two parent selectors. Let's move forward on the website and open up the first product page. And in the developer tool, select the product URL selector. For the scrapers to collect the necessary product information, we start by creating a text selector and designating the scraper to gather the title of the product. Now to collect the product prices, we create another text selector that will do exactly that. The same process as for creating the product title selector. Last but not least, we create another text selector to retrieve the color of the product. Great! Now to make sure that we have got all the selectors in all the right places, we check the selector graph tree. If you see no mistake and no adjustments are needed, simply go to the scrape section and start scraping. That is all of the steps when scraping the classical way, the most primitive and intuitive way. Hope this helped and thank you for watching.